1911 etiquette. Should you do that or that? That's the discussion. <laughs> with the pistols that we're producing here at Hayes, uh, I, I see no problem with dropping the slide on an empty chamber or snapping it on an empty chamber. Uh, old school traditional etiquette um, states that you should never drop the slide on an empty chamber and you should never dry fire your pistol. Uh, at least that's what a lot of people think. There is some truth to that, but does it actually matter in the real world? I have never seen uh, evidence of, of that being the case. It's always just someone's opinion and, and they tell you not to do it. Uh, the theory is, I mean, you've got mechanical machine here and uh, metals rubbing metal. And anytime metals rubbing metal, you got friction. And the more times uh, that, you know, the more times you cycle it, the more it wears out. And so, yeah, it does wear the gun out faster in theory, you know, doing that. Uh, the other part of it is the, the, the gun slams harder when closing, when it's not stripping around out of the magazine. That act of stripping that round, that top round out of the magazine and pushing it into the chamber slows down and kind of cushions the, the slide as it comes forward. So when you drop the slide on an empty chamber, it doesn't slow down at all and it just slams home. Now, here's why it's not such a big deal, uh, in my opinion. Most 1911s were originally in 45 ACP. That was the original caliber. Um, and you can get anywhere from like a 16 to a 20 pound spring in that pistol. Now, these pistols that we're building here today, this, uh, this Cobra, for example, there's an eight pound spring in here. And so <laughs> it's half uh, or, or less than half of what a 45 ACP spring would be traditionally. So right there, there's a reduction in force by, you know, somewhere around 50%. And you can feel that just, just by dropping the slide on a 9 mil versus dropping the slide on a 20 pound spring in a, in a 40 cal or a, a 10 mil or a, a 45. Uh, so that right there uh, is one reason that I don't have any problems with dropping the slide on a 9 millimeter. I'll drop the slide on my 45s as well. I, I don't see an issue with it. Again, I haven't ever seen any data actually backing up. Oh, it, if you drop the slide X amount of times, it will wear the gun out 20% faster. Uh, that would be a very hard study and data to produce. So a lot of it is just opinion. And in theory, yes, it's correct. This will wear the gun out faster than if you ease it forward on an empty chamber. However, when, just, when it comes to the, the 1911 in general, proper etiquette, and I agree with this, is I'll never drop the slide on someone else's 1911 unless I know they're okay with it. I'll never go into a gun store or pick up someone else's gun and, and, and drop the slide on an empty chamber. Uh, it's always nice just to ask permission. Like it's a simple, hey, you know, you care if I drop the slide or, or, or feel the trigger? Uh, and if they say no, then don't do it. So it's just proper etiquette not to drop the slide or dry fire it without asking first. As competitive shooters, we're pretty hard on our gear. Uh, we do a lot of dry firing. In fact, like a Benelium 2 would be a good example. Uh, most shell latches are wore out in dry firing or, you know, quad load practicing and not actually shooting on the range. Uh, and it's a lot of the same with a pistol. We want to, we want to dry fire and, and <laughs> do a million reps beforehand. Um, so a middle ground is probably the best option. Uh, you know, it's not going to hurt it to do that a few times, uh, you know, or, or practice a little bit with it, but I'm not going to make a, a point to do that every single time. Or if I'm practicing, you know, maybe a little, little maybe let it down a little easier. Um, but, the whole point is not to be overzealous with it. If someone does this to your pistol, it's not the end of the world. It's not damaging it in just a few reps. So just use proper etiquette, read the room, and everybody will be happy. If you do subscribe to the idea that you shouldn't drop your slide on your 1911 on an empty chamber, uh, I also have some automotive tips for you. If you never rev your engine above 2,000 RPMs, your car will last longer. So rack your gun, dry fire your gun, use your gun, and enjoy your gun.